Sup guys, man. Hey, we've got another video for y'all niggas, man. We've got another video, man. And I want to talk about um the f a fight that happened in the recent chapter of One Piece, you know. I want to do an analysis on what happened and why this fight was really good for Zoro. Uh, chapter 1032. Yep. Now, before I talk about more of that, man, you know what to do, man. Let's subscribe, hit the motherfucking bell, and let's get into it, man. Now, this fight... It wasn't the best, but I liked it though. Because Zoro needed this. Because you know how Luffy needed to level up because, you know, his bounty's not that high and he's not really getting strong. He's strong, but he needed a, like a real challenge. Like, Doflamingo was tough on him, I'm not gonna lie, but Doflamingo was just another level. This is Junko, this is like c Commander's level. Like, this is a Junko's crew, you know what I mean? L Luffy needed that um, kind of level. So, and I saw the Zoro. Because Luffy had that with Katakuri, now Zoro has that with King. Because King is a this, he's so different. Like, Zoro has never fought someone like King before. He flies around, he's not, he's a swordsman, but he doesn't like claim it. He doesn't fight like a swordsman. He just fights, he just fights to fight, and he, he uses his feet. Like, you know, Zoro does a kick, you know. He punches, uses his feet, uses his swords, uses his devil fruit to fly around and attack people. So, Zoro has never dealt with something like this. Because... King's just flying around everywhere. Zoro can't hit him. It's annoying Zoro. Zoro trying to figure out what the hell is King. You're not a fish, man. You're not a giant. So what the hell are you? You know what I mean? So Zoro trying to figure out all of that. So the first fight is the first panel you see of the fight is King literally stretching his head. I'm like, what the hell is he busting a nut right now? So, <laughs> bro, I'm like, what is going on? I'm really like, what's going on here? And then he literally flinged his head at him like a beam, bro. Literally, I'm like, what the hell? But the, the move was so fast and powerful, Zoro couldn't even block it. You know what I mean? Bro, Zoro couldn't even block it. He had to dodge, my nigga. So it's like, you know how King's strength is now. It's like, he couldn't even block it. So it's like, damn. You know what I mean? And King was like, Oh, uh, this is how dinosaurs used to hunt back and you know that 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 version of the that I don't know what it's called, man. I don't know enough about dinosaurs, you know what I mean? That that, f that the one that flies, that's how they used to hunt back in the day. You know what I mean? I didn't even know that. The fact that Oda knows that, you know what I mean? I don't even know if it's a real fact, but I'm gonna take it up with I'm gonna believe Oda, you know what I mean? But the fact that he used to hunt at that my nigga, that's kinda weird to me, because your nigga's pulling your head back and literally flinging it, you know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> where were you hunting, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, so Zoro, now he's finding a way out how to, uh, like, defeat, um, you know, King. So he's just throwing up moves, like, 360 caliber Phoenix Cannon, you know what I mean? He literally completely dodges that, you know what I mean? See, see Zoro has never fought someone that can fly about like that, you know what I mean? Like, he, he never fought someone that can literally fly, bro. He's never fought someone like that, you know what I mean? So it's annoying Zoro because... His hits are just so direct, like, if he does that, he's not, like, gonna rebound, like, uh, Luffy, you know, what he do with Katakuri, it's not, it's not like, it's not, it's not like that, innit, so, that was annoying Zoro, and Zoro can't waste his energy, he's always like, he can't waste his energy, or he's gonna lose soon, because he can't hit him, and Zoro, you know, he's like, oh, so, you guys used to fly about with fire on your back, you know what I mean, and then he was like, uh, King was like, no. And then Zoro was like, oh my God, get your story straight. You know what I mean? And then Zoro literally was like, all right, cool. Just let me, let me use something else. And then he's like, then he uses, um, what's it called? Dragon Twister. Great Dragon Twister. You know what I mean? So I was like, damn. And the thing is about Dragon Twister, you know, people are not blocking that or dodging that. Bro, this guy King, bro. This guy King blocked Dragon, Great Dragon Twister with his wings, bro. Zoro was like, what? Zoro, bro, Zoro block, bro, King blocked it with his wings, bro. Great Dragon Twister. So it's like, damn, Zoro, you're really struggling now, aren't you, bro? I told you, Zoro's struggling in this fight, bro. Zoro's really struggling in this fight. But it's good for him because it will improve him. It will push him to another level, you know. He was making memes about Emma's carrying Zoro. A little bit, but even with Emma there, it's not really doing anything, you know what I mean? So it's like, can you really say he's carrying Zoro? Can you really say that? I don't think so, mate. So, okay. So, literally, 
now King's being cocky you now. Now King's just feeling himself. He's like, alright, cool. I'll get on my devil fruit mode, you know what I mean? I'll leash you, I'll, I'll pick up my sword and fight you, you know what I mean? Just to help you out. I'm like, King is talking shit to my guy Zoro, my nigga. Like, damn. You know what I mean? He's just talking that. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, you can be cocky you want because you're winning the battle right now. Okay, okay, okay. You know? And then Zoro was literally trying to figure out. Like, is he a fishman? Is he a giant? Like, what race are you? I don't know what race you are from, you know what I mean? And they're just battling it out, you know, with their swords and shit. And Zoro just, he can't find out, he can't find a way to beat him. Because he needs to know, he, he needs to know King's race for some reason. I don't know why he needs to know his race. But anyway, he needs to, he needs to know his race to beat him, you know? When has ever, whenever does Zoro need to know someone's race to beat him? I don't know. But I guess for more information on how to be him, I don't know. This doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. It, it don't make sense to me, but okay. You know, and initially, King sends Zoro flying, bro. And then Zoro looks at, bro, it looks like the break of defeat for Zoro, you know what I mean? And he, this, Zoro literally says, I don't think I can win this without knowing his race. I'm like, Zoro, okay. You, without knowing his race, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. This, he really needs to know his race, huh? I want to add one, one more thing as well. It's not really in the fight, but we see um, we see Emma reacting to the music, you know what I mean? That um, um, it reacted to Kurosaki's music. So I'm like, oh, why did it react to Kurosaki's music? Like, I want to know why. Because at first I thought Odin's soul lived within um, his uh, sword, but I'm like, okay, that don't make sense. Maybe his heart is still live within his sword. And I'm like, no, that don't make sense. It has to be certain to do with Odin. If not, okay. But then, why did Emma react to Kurosaki's music? I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, this, there's a bond between her and Emma. Maybe Zoro's not really meant to have Emma, but we're not going to say that, but maybe. But no, Zoro's going to have Emma for life, stop it, okay? I don't get it, man. You know? Well, Zoro wasn't really meant to have Emma, though. Just think about it. That was really Kurosaki's sword, but then she gave it to Zoro, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's a, there's a, there's a bigger bond we don't know about, you know? They must have signed a contract with their blood or sign. Like, I don't know, like... It must have been the blood contract or sign. Like, for them to always be connected to each other. Like, I, f I really feel like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, damn, like, it's something bigger than we know. We know we know that Kurosaki was meant to have the sword, but I think there, was, there must have been a contract or something. I don't know. I don't know, bro. But we didn't see Zoro have a contract, so I can't really say that. But maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe we should tell him about it. So that's why Zoro's not really controlling it. So we don't know, man. But anyway, that was the chapter I wanted to talk about specifically. You know what I mean? Well... It was an okay chapter overall. I'll give it like a... Um, if I want to talk about the overall chapter, I'll say an 8 out of 10. The fight was like an 8 out of 10. Zoro vs. King. But King was showing off what he got, man. But I feel like he's got more in the chamber, you know what I mean? I feel like he's still got more in the chamber, you know what I mean? So, uh, we don't even know if... King probably has conquered hockey. I bet he does. But I want to know about more his race, you know. His hockey, you know. I want to know about his hockey, his race, you know. Other than that as well, you know, more, I mean, more, more as well, you know what I mean? So it's like, all right, cool, man. Hey, good, cha good chapter overall, AR10, man. Hey, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell, man. Don't forget to do all of that, man. Share this video as well, and check my other videos I have on my channel. More anime reviews and episode reviews as well, man. And I've got news reviews. I've got news um, videos as well, man. And I'm out, man. Peace.